What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 on your Mac using VMware Fusion. So basically we're setting up a virtual machine and installing Windows 7 on that virtual machine. Now the point of this is so that we can use jailbreak tools that are Windows only, such as the uh, Taiji jailbreak tool, for instance. Uh, this allows you to, at any time, if you're a Mac only user, jailbreak your device on a virtual Windows instance. So it's really handy to have, and really handy just to uh, keep on the side at your disposal when new jailbreak tools are released, and generally they've been Windows only for a while as of late. So what we need to do is open up a browser. You're going to find two links in the, in the description. You're going to find a link for VMware Fusion, and you're also going to find a link for the Windows 7 Enterprise. Now we're using Windows 7 here because I just find that to be a lot more straightforward, a lot more concise. You don't have to worry about the Windows 8 new tiled interface or any of that. And for this tutorial for jailbreaking, I just find it, it's just much more streamlined and easy to use. Uh, so the first link, like I said, is VMware. You'll find a 30 day free trial for VMware Fusion. And you can just click this download button, save it to your desktop as I've done here, or you can save it to your downloads folder, wherever you can find it. And then we'll install that. The next thing you want to do is to download the Windows 7 Enterprise trial. That is a 90 day evaluation and you'll find the the link in the description as well. You'll have to sign in with your Microsoft account, which can be a Windows Live account, a Hotmail account. I, I even think an Xbox account will work. And then you just uh, download that file. It'll use a uh, installer tool. Actually, let me just click it here so I can show you exactly what you can expect when downloading the Windows 7. It's a little different than most downloads. Um, but when you click continue here, you'll get this little pop up and you can download that uh, to your desktop. And it's just basically an ISO file. This is a very large file uh, because it's basically like a, a DVD and you can save that to your desktop. Make sure you choose des desktop for that um, and then just save that to your desktop so it's easy to find. So I have both files already downloaded. Again, the Windows uh, DVD download, the Windows 7 ISO file will take a while unless you have it just a really fast connection. I think it's probably more than uh, 4.7 gigabytes, something around there. It says 3.12 gigabytes, but I think it's probably at least that large. Uh, so there's the VMware, there's the Windows 7. Once you have both of those, you're ready to go. You can just close out of your browser. First thing we're going to do is launch or mount the VMware Fusion. All right, there we go. So that's mounted. You just want to double click on VMware Fusion app to start the VMware Fusion installation. Click on open. And you're going to put in your administrator password. Now it's initializing. And now you're going to get this screen here and just select the second checkbox. I want to try the VMware Fusion 7 for 30 days. Click continue. And here I just put in no spam at gmail.com and try VMware Fusion 7. Make sure that's checked. Click continue. Administrator password again, uncheck this, click done. And now you'll see install from disk or image. You want to make sure this is selected. We can just close this out in the background here. Make sure install from disk or image is selected. Click continue. Click use another disk or disk image. And then point it at your desktop where we save the Windows 7 Enterprise Evaluation ISO. So just select it and then click open. And then click continue. Uncheck use easy install, click continue, click customize settings, click save. And now you want to choose processors and memory. And we're just going to bump up the cores here. I'm going to set it to four cores and I'm going to give it about four gigs of memory. Uh, obviously this is going to just depend on your personal preference, but I would try to give it at least a moderate amount of resources and just close that. Now just click the play button. And that will start the Windows 7 Enterprise Evaluation Installation. And this will obviously take a while. It's basically installing Windows on your Mac using this virtual machine instance. Um, so give this a second. And I'm just going to uh, speed through some of this, some of this uh, installation. Obviously, you're going to see some pop-ups and things where it requires user feedback and user input. 
So I will take care of that as well. For instance, right here, you're gonna see some user input required. So just click next and then click install now. All right, and then click I accept the license terms and click next and then custom and then next. And now this will go through the whole copying, expanding, installing, completing. So we'll just speed through this. All right, so now we just type in the username. We just give it any name we want. I'm just gonna put in Jeff and click next. And I'll skip the password. You don't need to put a password in unless you just want to. And then use recommended settings. Set your time zone. I'll set mine. Next. Home network. This will take just a second. Okay, so our Windows machine is installed. The next thing we want to do is go up to the virtual mach machine section and install VMware tools and then select install. And then we want to open up our Explorer and go to our computer and then double click on the DVD drive and select yes. And that's going to prepare and install VMware tools. Now what VMware tools allows you to do is to have all the resolution settings, all the drivers uh, properly set up, USB drivers, etc. Click next, click next, click install. And that's going to make it so that the screen resolution looks a lot better as well. Okay, now we can just click on finish and click yes to reboot. And then choose do not show again for the antivirus. And now what we can do is we can put our screen into full screen mode. So just go up to view and select full screen. And since we have VMware tools installed, all the drivers installed, it should look pretty good on your display. All right, so now we're in full screen mode. Now it's time to install iTunes. So we're already almost there. Uh, so let's open up Internet Explorer and we can just go to iTunes.com. And then click download iTunes. And click download now. And then click run. Now iTunes is of course a necessary um, feature, a necessary app to have anytime you want to interface with an iPhone or an iPod Touch or an iPad. So you need this in order to jailbreak using Taiji. All right, and then just click on Run. And click Next. Then Install. Then Yes. Yes again. All right, and just click finish. And you can close out of Internet Explorer and click agree. And that should launch iTunes and no thanks. All right, now what you want to do this time is you want to go ahead and plug in your iPod or your iPhone or whatever device you want to jailbreak uh, to your machine. I'll show you here. Okay, so once you plug in your device, click the trust button where it says trust this computer. You'll get a little pop up on your iPhone or your iPad. Make sure you click trust this computer. 
and then your computer should see your iPhone or your uh, iPad or whatever device you're using. Okay, so now that we have everything installed and your iPhone is recognized, you want to open up Internet Explorer again, and you want to go to iDownload Blog's download page. So just go to iDownload Blog, if I can type, dot com, and you should see the download link at the top. Click download, and then you should also see the Taiji jailbreak download tool. Here it is. The latest version is 1.1 in this case, so I'll just click it. And now it's asking me to save. So I'll save that to my desktop. And it is downloading now. Okay, so now we can just uh, right click on the Taiji jailbreak zip file, select extract all, and then click extract. And there, there is the Taiji jailbreak tool. So just double click on it and select run. And there we go. So there is Taiji ready to run. Now, obviously my phone is already jailbroken. It says jailbreaked. Um, but if you have a non-jailbroken phone you hook up, it'll say ready to go as long as it's running iOS 8. And then you have, of course, the Cydia installation. And you can just follow our jailbreak tutorial for Taiji for more details on this. But my whole point of this video was to get you to the point where you could actually run the jailbreak tool as we, we are doing here. So now it's time to watch the jailbreak tutorial to find out how to actually jailbreak. But now you can always go back to this virtual machine and run any Windows app that you want, including the jailbreak tool. So. Let's go ahead and close out of the virtual machine. We'll just go over to VMware Fusion, right click and select quit. And that will save the virtual machine state and that will suspend and it will shut down Windows. All right, so now it's gonna recognize your iPhone's connected to your, to your Mac now instead of the Windows machine. Uh, but anytime you want to access that virtual machine again, you'll find in your documents folder you'll see virtual machines and here is the virtual machine for Windows 7 that we just ran uh, and you can see if you right click and go to get info you can see it's a fairly large uh, virtual machine in this case 13.74 gigabytes the more it's stuff you install the more you use it the bigger this will get uh, but right now it's fairly large at 13.74 gigabytes and of course like I said you could take this you could put it on an external drive as long as you have VMware installed on the uh, on the actual computer you can just drag this back over at any time from an external drive if you don't want this taking up that much space on your main computer and just run it when when needed. And that's what I generally do. I just have a drive dedicated to virtual machines. Anytime I need one, just drag it over, plop it right here, and then run it via the uh, VMware Fusion app. So I can even just double click on this if I want to and start up Windows 7 just like this. And I'll show you again. See, it's restoring a virtual machine state saves my last state that I had and eventually you'll see it start up and there you go that quick that easy folks I uh, highly recommend that you do this and that you have a virtual machine ready prepared on deck uh, for those times when you need to use Windows on your Mac folks hope you were able to enjoy this tutorial hope it was uh, in-depth enough that it explained the ins and outs of running a virtual machine on your uh, Mac let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and again you'll find the links in the description as well this is Jeff with iDownload Blog.